here, my ducks, and welcome back to another video. Pond is looking absolutely fantastic. Right, this weekend I need to get the slabs back on. We'll get them cleaned up, get all the uh, concrete off, because I think if I can do it without breaking them, I think it'll look good once we've got the slabs, like I said before, all around. They'll look okay with a black wall. So I'm just going to keep them as they are, just get them cleaned up. If I end up breaking them and I'm getting the mortar off, then that's going to make my mind up to go and get some sleep tops. But I may as well just save my money and not do it. Like the pond, my God, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. I should have done it years ago. The fish absolutely love it. Within about 48 hours, they're already chasing each other around and spawning and they keep doing it now. In fact, they're probably doing it over there right now. A bit of koi pond going off. Been looking on the cameras early morning, they've been at it in the plants, but they're a lot more livelier. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. I, just, I was out here with some mealworm early, I got my mealworm, there was all around. Big Mama, my uh, big Magoy, which you can see a lot clearly now. Just taking it out of my hand. I think um, I'm gonna get the Hoover out in a bit. There's a bit of fish waste just on the bottom. It's going to be a lot easier now to hoover the pond as well. I haven't got all different levels in there. So you can just see a bit of fish waste. Slight issue I've had. I've been doing water, water tests every 48 hours. Um, I did it the first 24 hours, which was fine, zero of everything. But then I did it two days after that and I had a very slight nitrite spike, but that's to be expected. I was doing kickstarting the filter again, feeding. Um, but when I did it another 48 hours after that, it has gone down. Obviously, I really reduced the feeding. I got a bit bit, bit happy with uh, my koi loving life and fed them a bit too much, getting in there with a the mealworm and stuff. Just got the tempted not to overfeed them for a bit. But when I did my Nexus clean this week, I did an extra drop, so I, I emptied quite a bit more water out of the pond, so it was a bit of a water change. And once I hoover it out today, that disperses a lot of water as well, so it's going to be like another water change, really. Um, and then I think today is actually another day I need to do my water test, so I'll keep doing it until my nitrites are back down to zero. Ammonia has been zero, that's been fine. Everything else has been fine. Like I said on the previous video, I've kept this running a bit, just while that starts kicking back in again my nexus um, so this isn't going to be permanent don't worry I am going to I am going to get rid of it but wait till the nitrites are back down and to be fair I wouldn't say it's even 0.5 I'd probably say it's 0.25 milligram of nitrite so it's very very slight and you see on the colour charts between zero and the next the next bracket so so these are swimming around I think they're going to go and get some more food I'm just going to go and pop to Wix's and I need some cement so I can do these. I've run out of sand. I used the sand at the bottom of the, uh, under the liner in the pond, all the sand they had. So I just need to go and get some more. The water isn't as high as I normally have it. I normally go up just to the bottom of the, can't really see on the, on the Nexus return pipe. But of course, without the slabs, I didn't want to go too high with the water. Look at them all. Absolutely love it. What I'm thinking of doing as well, I've, you probably know, I, knew, I normally have a water feature like on uh, that thing there, in this corner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back on, but I might not have it running because the pump I've got in at the minute is pumping the water like this. It's, it's like a river, it's like a stream. I actually like that. The fish love it as well, especially when they've been trying to spawn. They've been all around here and chasing each other. and So I might keep it like that and not put the tap, have the tap running. I'll make my mind up with that. It's not very sunny today. Well, it has been sunny. The sun's on and out, but it's so warm today. It's muggy. What we're we looking? Yeah, it's just over 20 degrees. I think the pond was about 15. It was 15 yesterday. Yeah, it's gone up to about 16, 17 now. She's loving life because she's plant happy again. Oh yeah, I'm in my happy place. Without the bunny, she can buy as much plants as she wants now. That he's not going to bloody eat or be poisonous to him. That reminds me actually, what did we do with the Acer? Oh yeah, I need to take the temporary pole back down. We'll get that jet washed out. Still haven't done that. It's been a week by the way. 
I'm not sure if I said that at the start of the video. There's my Acer. Like I said, we ain't got to worry about the rabbit eating it anymore and be poisonous to him. So we'll get this down today, we'll get it jet washed. He's looking for the garden trowel. Should be looking all day. Trim my plants when I got them back in. And if you saw that on the last vlog. But I could stand here all day. Me a worm in my hand. I'm going to get some prawns in a minute as well. I could, honestly, I could do it all day. I mean, look at them now, look. I don't know if you can see them. All swimming around together. Such a beautiful sight. Yeah, she had a go. Right up to my hand. Right she had a go. Hand. And then I moved my hand and it ran away. Yeah, she got a bit spooked because Big Mama come up and nibbled on her knuckle and she was like, Ugh! And the fish was like, Ugh! <laughs> Little tiddlers sticking together. Three babbies. I've realised though, the lily, I didn't put on bricks and they've been Dig it in the roots. Look, bits of lily. I need to get that back on bricks. Right, I got best go and get some cement. I was just coming up here to tell them that instead of talking to the viewers, you should be cracking on, babes. Yeah. And help me find my trap. I don't know where that is. Well, this is taking longer than expected, guys. So I've cleaned them all up. Jet washed them again. Jet washed all the ones at the back, which are still in a pile. These aren't stuck down. I've just put them into place. Got all the uh, the gobble off that was stuck to it. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. I have broke a couple, but I've kept a cracked one there. And there's another cracked one I'm going to put on the back. So you're not going to see that anyway once my ornaments are back in place. But I do think, obviously, against the slabs on the floor. And with the black wall that's going to look a lot better than getting some like grey slate or anything so this is going to go into another day i'm knackered i'm ready for a beer so i'll come back another day we'll get them all cemented back down uh there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten maybe eleven just to go across this back wall and around the corner where the filter house is these are all in place like i say none of them are cemented down just need to put them in these corner ones are cracked and all but i'm not too fussed about them to be honest but it was saving some money i'm running out of money again <laughs> the liner cost me an absolute fortune as it was so um, I've just done, I'm in the middle of a fill to clean because I'm just clearing up now so that can be cleaning while I'm just tidying away. They look a lot better with just being jet washed, don't they? So now these are back in, well I know they're not permanently in place, but now they're back on the wall. I can top up the water a bit more now. So I'll get it in line with the bottom of the return pipe, which I had before. I'm also in the middle of a water test, so my nitrites are ready to be checked. And as you can see on camera, Still a touch of pink in there, and no way is it 0.5. So I'd probably say it's still in between 0 and 0 0.5. So I think it's still about 0 0.25. So there's still a touch. Um, what time is it? I've got another five minutes left on my ammonia, but it's still yellow. So that that's no way going to turn green. As long as it's yellow, we're fine. But there is a touch of pink in the nitrites but i'd say it's 0.25 because it's halfway between it's definitely not 0.5 you can't really tell on camera and yes low from french koi connection i'm looking down without the lid on so i know you told me to do that so yeah um although i've been a bit naughty today and because the fish have been like coming up to the surface when i've been putting the slabs on begging me for food I've, I've chucked in some mealworm every now and again not a lot only a touch but I'm getting them tame again I should have got it on camera really but my big mama my big magoy 
she's back to eating out my hand like she was before we put her in the temporary pool and she jumped out so she's back to eating out my hand and Mashiro Becco also came up and the big ghost as well so they're definitely getting more confident again and that's why I couldn't resist every now and again going for the mealworm and feeding them but yeah I was a bit, bit naughty but, hey boy She's in the front garden digging plants. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I think my ammonia is going to be fine. I'll check that in another few minutes. I'll get that cleaned out now. Um, I'm not going to bother with the pH and stuff yet. I'm going to wait till I've put the cement down on these slabs because if I do drop any cement in, that's going to that can mess with your pH. You've got to be careful, guys, when you do that. But it's just the two toxic ones, of course. I did the pH one a few days ago, which was fine, and pH was fine, but I'm not going to worry about it today. Oh, there's a flash then. Did you see that from the Shasui? He flashed. That ain't good. So, yeah, so um, while I'm cleaning up, I'm going to get the rest of these slabs just around that back bit, and then we'll come back and we'll get them cemented down. Job done. And this isn't ready yet either. I've got to put that on. I think I am going to keep it. I've been looking at water blades and stuff, but... I think for now, I'm just going to carry on with the tap. So yeah. Right, let's crack on. Hey, on my ducks. Putting these coping stones on is actually going to go into another weekend because of the weather. I decided to pee it down. So of course I can't get any cementing done. Don't want nothing to run into the pond. So what I'm going to get done instead I brought some more foams to go into the box filter. I've still got slight nitrites in the pond, so I'm still going to keep running that for, for a bit. I'm just going to change the films over. And, I might, and I've got another UV as well, so I might attach that back to it because the sun's been blaring. Um, I might obviously attach the UV that goes into that filter. Um, the waste has been accumulating on the bottom a bit, still crystal clear. This has been now two weeks. Fish are absolutely loving it still. But there's a bit of waste and crap sort of accumulating on the bottom. It's not all actually going down to the pump. The only downside, of course, having a pump fed pond, also having plants and a liner. They are getting like stuck on certain creases and stuff, so I might get a bit of a hoover, which will also give me the water change I need as well for the nitrites. Um, apart from that, it's probably all I can do while it's peeing it down. No more Nexus clean. I'll clean that while at the same time. But yeah, the fish, they're still absolutely loving it. Like I say, it's still lovely and crystal clear. See the bottom. The fish are so much livelier. Getting mealworm in my hand. They're all coming up and get taken out of my hand. They're swimming around better. Like I say, they've been chasing each other. Even into that lee where they actually knocked the lily off the shelf, which wasn't good. That sent a lot of dirt out, which is all on the bottom. So much more lively, they're loving it. Even Stump is swimming around, and Stumpy was never swimming around. I'll have to trim that bush. Jill. Come and trim the bush. Always good at trimming bushes. Um, so yeah, what a job we can do for this weekend while it's Morning. Annoying. One day I'll get these coping stones back on the pond. Right, so they're all scrapped now. So I've got some new ones, but I can only find a pack of three. This box filter has four in them. So I cleaned obviously this one. And uh, so we'll get them into the box filter. I normally rep replace these every year anyway. Um, obviously didn't do it this year yet for obvious reasons because I'm going to get rid of the box but there we go can you hear my son shouting in his bedroom on his bloody playstation nutter um, right so go and get them into the box and probably give it a bit of a rinse out actually so there we go what I do keep in my box say up on the bottom layer is your uh, oh the water's quite warm is that a uh, flow core stuff I do keep them in the in the sacks obviously some do escape but the sack can only keep up to the end of the pipe so i'll just put all the loose stuff at the end and then top we put the alpha grog it's always best to not put alpha grog on the bottom layer because that's when you can accumulate all that black silty stuff that can sit there 
So put your plastic stuff on the bottom and your flow core that can go on the top. Unless you've got one of those grid things on the bottom then, then obviously it's fine. You just don't want it to touch the bottom, that's all. And again, that's the sack and the loose stuff just around the pipes. So it's quite a clean field to be fair because there's not much dirt in there. Been rinsing it. It's not too bad at all. Obviously there's chunks of fish poo, but I'll give them a rinse and I'll take you back in because the rain's on my camera and I don't want that to break. I'm not going to take you out because it's peeing it down. But another tip as well, time is an essence when you're cleaning things like this out because the longer obviously your media is out of the water, the, the good bacteria is dying off. You've got about half an hour to be fair. So I've just got it all back in, it's all cleaned off. Um, I'm just going to fill it up with a bit of pond water while I sort the UV out so it's actually sat in pond water. But don't leave it out of water more than half an hour because then all the good bacteria is just going to die away. So a bit of a tip there for you. Right, so that's the foams in. Let's get the UV together. So it is actually only an old UV, but it's not going to be for long. It's only oh, I've still got oh bollocks, I didn't want to do that, did I? I'm gonna have to come back. What a sort of crap out. Right, uh, let's get this plumbed in. Right, it's all wired in. I'm obviously going to take it out because it's still raining, but it definitely works. I've just checked, so now I can get the screws, get the lid screwed back down, and then we'll cut the pipe and get it uh, plumbed in, and then all done. I can get the filter going again. So it's back on, up and running, UV's on. Just sit at the top, like I say, it's only only for a few more weeks now. Just while I get the nitrite put down, and it's not going to be there long, so looks like it's restricted the flow a bit anyway. It's not coming out as fast, which is probably better. So, one job done. It's absolutely hammering it down, so I'm taking you back in the shed where it's dry because I can see you getting wet. Just we can stand in here and watch the fish. I've just chucked a bit of food in, only a little bit, like I says. Cutting it down. <laughs> I do have the habit of overfeeding. It's like on the weekend when I'm off work, especially when it's warm and they're all at the top. I do have a habit of chucking a little bit of mealworm. And I get that quite a bit when I'm off work, so it's my own fault, really. I'm just scoffing that down, which is good. 